Thank you. This Warner Brothers film takes place in the post-apocalyptic world. There's a natural resource that everybody's after, but there's not enough. So this film shows you just how selfish humans could be. A group plants a flag and tries to monopolize on the resource. The menace in this movie is this pale, overweight, deformed monster. His attitude is just as bad as his facial expressions, and he wants all the resources to himself and will kill anyone who stands between him and total supremacy. The main person in his way is the main character. There's a part where he has him tied up, and the movie could end right now if they put him out of his misery. Instead, they keep him tied up until he musters up enough strength to free himself. There's a desert in the movie, and you get thirsty just by looking at it. The good news is that the desert is full of hiding spots, and the heroes find ways to slip out of the villain's reach. To get from point A to B safely on this journey, the main character gets help from a concubine. The concubine is part of a sisterhood, and together, they give the main character guidance on how to make it through the desert. One of them is pregnant, and you're not supposed to travel during your last trimester. But she might be in the early stages of her pregnancy, so it's all good. The main character is having these visions. He's not sure if it's a sign of what's to come, or if he just has a headache and needs to take a nap, which is still confusing because when he takes naps, he still has the visions anyway. The bad guys attempt to kill the main character. He survives the assassination attempt. A battle ensues, and it's like they always say, if you can't beat him, join him. A double crosser switches sides. When you betray somebody, it's best you keep a low profile because you end up on a lot of people's hit list. The double crosser is on Front Street, and that makes him an easy target, so he gets killed in the line of duty. They locate a small remnant that's hiding in the desert. When a hero meets one of the women from the tribe, the first thing she hands him is a blade, so you could tell she's about that life. They convince the remnant to join forces with them, and together, they'll rebel against the villain. The good guys run far, far away, but you can't run and you can't hide. They're located by the bad guys pretty quickly. I'm not into trading lives, but some of the cast members are, and start ranking who's more beneficial to the sequel. A side character makes a sacrificial play to save key characters. You're sad at first, but a lot of lives are saved. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe Maybe so. If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 Reason videos. <gasps>